Hey what's up everyone, City and Technology News here, and today I'm doing a rumor video on the Samsung Galaxy Note 5, which is going to be Samsung's next big flagship smartphone. So there are actually a number of rumors and leaks that are coming out about this phone, and they're speeding up over time, so in this video, I'm just going to be going over what we know so far, and then what you should expect to see from Samsung's upcoming smartphone. So one of the biggest upgrades that's been rumored about for quite a while is the fact that Samsung could actually be putting a much bigger battery into the Note 5. Since we've been hearing about these battery rumors for months now, I would definitely expect the Note 5 to have pretty impressive battery life when it does launch, even though it will have a pretty large screen as a trade-off. Now while I'm talking about battery and charging, a Chinese website called Zoll is also claiming that the device will come with a Type-C USB 3.1 port, which is slowly becoming prevalent in a lot of top-of-the-line smartphones. USB Type-C has a really wide range of functions, and then it's also kind of cool because it has a fully reversible build that lets users plug it in both directions. This will allow the Note 5 to transfer files at 10 gigabits per second and a max of 1000 watts of power, and then also depending on the OEM, users will also enjoy faster charging over the Note 4, even with such a massive battery unit inside the Note 5. Now Zoll is also claiming that the Note 5 will sport an impressive 2K Super AMOLED display measuring 5.9 inches, which is a fair bit bigger than its predecessor coming in at 5.7 inches. Even though that 0.2 inches may not seem like a lot at first, when you're actually navigating around this phone, it's going to be a pretty big deal. For instance, you probably won't even be able to reach portions of the screen when using it with one hand, but then again, this feature has probably been true of the Note for a quite a while now. Now, the Note 5 should also be slimmer than the Note 4. According to the phone arena, the new phone will have a 7.9mm body, which is thinner than the Note 4 coming in 8.5mm thick. When we're talking about really slim measurements already though, this 0.6mm reduction may not seem like quite such a big deal. The Note 5 should be powered by an octa-core Exynos 7422 processor, and this is according to the Business Insider. That's a newer processor than the CPU currently powering the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge, and it should give the Note 5 a much needed speed boost. One thing Samsung will be keeping though is the UFS 2.0 flash memory used in its best-selling flagship smartphones. Android 5.1.1 Lollipop will likely be on board at first, unless Google releases some more minor upgrades to Android in the meantime before the phone actually launches. The Note 5 will also be getting an upgrade to Android M whenever that operating system launches, since Samsung likes to keep their Note phones running the most current version of Google's operating system. Now also, since this is a Note phone, some reports are claiming that it will be getting an improved S Pen stylus, which should make navigating around the operating system even easier. But anyways, the Samsung Galaxy Note should be unveiled in September during IFA 2015 in Berlin. This is when Samsung's unveiled their Note phones in the past, and it's pretty likely that they'll want to keep to that yearly release cycle, so a future release date at IFA would definitely make sense. But anyways, give me your opinions on what you want to see in the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 in the comments below. If you're interested, I've also provided a number of links in the description with even more info and rumors about the Galaxy Note 5, so check those out if you're interested, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you're excited about Samsung's upcoming smartphone, and I will see you next time.